Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, welcome back to my channel. So on tonight's little video, just a very quick one this one, um, I'm basically going to be answering a question that one of my viewers has recently asked me and that is how I strop my blades to keep them sharp. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Before I kick off with this little video, um, I just want to say to you guys and lasses, I'm going to be starting a mini-series, if you like, uh, whereas every so often I'm going to be throwing a video into the mix. I'm going to call it the Mad Dog Bites series, uh, mini bites, um, and basically just throw a few tips or tricks um, out there. So they're just going to be very short segment videos um, showing a few little snippets, field craft basically, around bushcraft, survival, kit that type of thing but keeping it short and sweet so stay tuned for them um, I'm going to start pretty much kicking that series off with this so a good friend has asked me how I strop my knives and what I do to maintain the sharpness of the edge or blade on my tools so just quickly my strop board this is the leather strop board that I use as you can see nothing flash or fancy I've got a piece of pallet wood, pine pallet wood, and onto that I've got a glued on piece of leather with a tongue tab that I can use to grab a hold of should I need to. And I use that as my strop platform. This I made out of one of these, an old weight training belt. You know, the old, old school weight training belt. So there's the leather side, obviously. So obviously all I've done is I've sanded down the die and the, the uh, brand there and I've stuck that onto my board with some um, self, what's it called, impact adhesive let it cure, cut round it and um, hey presto I've got my uh, strop board obviously the uh, compound that you can see on there is just some of this stropping compound, you can get it off eBay or Amazon it comes in a pack, usually a pack of three pieces and these retail for about a quid, a pound, something like that basically all you do is get your your leather strop and just apply a bit of this stropping compound and then the trick with stropping in my opinion is do it before your blade gets severely damaged this is more of a maintenance regime for me so basically what I like to do is lay the blade flat and then curl the blade towards the profile of the bevel and then follow that profile along so if I'm doing two strops that side do it on the reverse on the other side so lay the blade flat turn to meet the angle of the bevel and two strops back like so and that way you'll maintain a nice sharp edge for the entire length of the blade or cutting tool Obviously if you roll, chip or damage your blade edge, I usually use a wet stone um, like this, um, basically to bring the stone back into a, good, into a good initial shape. This is a new one, a new wet stone there, uh, 1000 and 4000 grit this one. So that's quickly how I've made my strop board. What materials I used to make that with which is just this leather weight training belt or something along them lines and uh, yeah this is going to be my uh, mad dog bites <laughs> series video number one don't forget to save this as well when you do make your leather strop board if you use something like this all these holes here I've got another little tip coming up for the use of them so stay tuned for that one that involves the campfire cooking kit Anyway, before it gets too long, I'm quitting now. So I hope this answers your question, mate. That's the top and bottom of it. Thank you all very much for watching as always. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you all soon. Mad Dog signing off. Yeah! <laughs>